one radio station here, and we say what we feel like saying. This is Colonel Jack Meoff of the Radio First Termer Iraq Show. The following program is brought to you in high definition. Dave Rabbit Audio. Is that clear enough for you, Pukes? Hey, everybody. Boy, we have a great show for you tonight. One of my top 10 2011 bands so far from Vancouver, Canada. Theory of a Dead Man. And the hits... Just keep on coming. It's never enough to say I care. But I'm caught between what you wanted from me. And knowing if I give that to you, I might just disappear. to be from the band from Vancouver, Canada, Theory of a Dead Man. I'm telling you, they're so far in 2011, this has got to be my number one band of the bands that I've brought to you during this calendar year. And, you know, I mean, there's always a possibility somebody could knock them off the purse, but right now i got to say that Theory of a Dead Man is going to be one, if not the top band for 2011 marvelous vocals just great music just love listening to these guys you know i couldn't wait to bring these guys to you on the video rabbit zone tonight 
number 133. Boy, I tell you, you know, a lot of great stuff happening. You know, I as you can tell, I'm still fighting and soldiering on with this voice problem that I've got. But, you know, other than that, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I'm not, not bad for a kid. Hey, I, I just got to show you this thing real quick. Um, a friend of mine, uh, him and his wife had a baby, so I walked into uh, uh, the rabbit hole complex, <laughs> and uh, he says, hey, Dave, he says, you know, uh, we just had our baby, and uh, I'd like to give this to you, and I went, great, you know. And I said, uh, what is the rectal thermometer? <laughs> uh, his wife didn't think that was too funny, but he thought it was hilarious. Anyway, obviously, it's not a rectal thermometer. It is a cigar. Now, of course, I don't smoke. Used to. Nasty, nasty habit. Wish I had never picked it up. But I haven't smoked in over 30 years, so I guess that makes me safe so far. All right. We got to get to this show because, I mean, the music is just kick ass and you're going to really love what's going on. So let's get to it. My movie background of the week is a movie that absolutely made zippity doo dah when it came out called Enemy Mine. It came out the 20th of December of 1985, starring Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr. Now, they're the two main ones. They had, you know, some sub actors and actresses and of course that were in the thing but it was a weird movie you know now when i first saw it when it came out in 1985 i thought wow this is a weird movie now uh once it was out once i had seen it initially and then when it came out on dvd and i got a copy of the thing uh i really started to realize what a really deep uh seated meaning uh movie that this really is uh, what the movie is basically about is two alien species, uh, alien to each other, if you will, Dennis Quaid being a human and Louis Gossett Jr. being a drac. And, uh, you know, it's a story of how two individuals start out as enemies uh, and begin to become friends and develop such a bond that it completely changes the character of the entire movie and um i don't want to give away a lot of stuff but let's put it this way drax are asexual in other words they can produce within themselves and have a baby so uh a baby's born in the concept of this movie and the little drac baby's called zamus and of course dennis quaid develops a relationship with him but it's just a really kind of tender-hearted movie. It's kind of a strange movie in a way. But like I said, it's it's a really good movie. Uh, you can probably find Enemy Mine on any of the DVD sites or whatever. Uh, it it cost twenty nine million to make, uh, and uh, I think it got twelve million. Actually, it was like forty million, including the promotion, and only made twelve million dollars. But it's a good movie. I think you'll enjoy it. So, like I said, we got a great uh, three songs coming up. Uh, just of equal quality is not meant to me. And uh, if you happen to uh, want to know more about the Theory of a Dead Man band, uh, you can find everything you need to know on one of their two websites, myspace.com, Theory of a Dead Man, or theoryofadeadman.com. Now, the music, of course, as I bring you, I always tell you this, but the music, the songs I bring you are about a three-minute cut of each of the songs just to give you a taste and the highest quality of the music you can get on the artist sites themselves. All right, we're going to continue on with music. You're going to love this one. It's called All or Nothing. Bear. Send some flowers to your world 